I'm a nasty bit of work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Don, I go myself, but he knows who I am. Oh, hello. Is there something else? Mom, just sell? Hey, be careful. Feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Don't worry. I'm on your side. Quién eres? Please. I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. Señor, muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon.
This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. What's your damn game? Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Hello! Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good, then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me, personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Today. Thank you. Hey, mister. Heads up. Hit fire. You 
got a problem? Ah, excuse me, but what? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, nope. strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Wait. Okay then, girl. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up!
How's things? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? You ain't the law. Won't somebody take it? No damn. Waste of my time. Hello, come on in. I'm not sure why that iron is. Mr. White. Interesting. Mr. Mm -hmm. I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Too hasty.
Pane? They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad? They worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Why, hello there, Jeff Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed you done a, a lot white harm man. Here. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Ma'am? Anyway. How do you do? Sorry, there must be How's some mistake. Howdy. Just fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Hey, mister. Come on, things to do. Mind yourself. Hey, mister. How do you do, sir? Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not... No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. Good. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. You've done enough for us. We're on our